So, kind of related to my um, earlier video that I just got done recording, um, I want to talk about um, the phrase that comes up a lot, never meet your heroes. Never meet your heroes. Okay, so, one of the biggest things that I believe is very important, very important, is that if you ever, ever, ever have somebody you look up to in Hollywood, in movies, in TV, in online media, anything, heck, it could be freaking Mr. Beast. I don't care. Never meet your heroes. You know why? The main, the, 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 the personal reason why I say this is because you will never be able to see them the same way again. And you will never be able to completely understand why they're not exactly the way they are on camera. It just, you know, you, you think about it. You, you do. You think about it. You think about the way that people are. You think about the way that people like to be. They put their best foot self forward when, it, when they're on camera and they hide the rest of themselves behind the scenes, right? So a big, a big part of this is, you know, uh, okay, all right. Very few actors in Hollywood are exactly like they are on camera or even on TV or in interviews even, you know, in, even interviews, they, they put up a front, they put up a, a character. It, it might not be too far off, but it's not showing every ugly side of them. So, Never meet your heroes is mainly just because you're always going to be disappointed because the picture-perfect version of them that you've got in your head for them is never going to meet the expectation. They're never going to meet that expectation. They're always going to fall short, and you're always going to come away disappointed. You know, I mean, in the case of Elliot Gindy, I mean, I'm glad that we're disappointed because now we know how much of a how much of a complete and utter, you know, monster he is. And that way we know how to, uh, how to hopefully protect people in the future because we just don't, we don't let companies like Hogiverse off the hook when it comes to that. But then you've got people that might not be monsters, but they're just not exactly as fun or as carefree or whatever as they seem on camera because honestly, that's how they get paid. They get paid to be funny. They get paid to be lighthearted. They get paid to be, I mean, granted, there are the exceptions. There are the exceptions of the rule. Um, Mr. Rogers, great example, great example. Um, he was the same kind-hearted person in, he was the same kind-hearted man in person that he was on television because he never wanted to hide who he was because he didn't have anything to hide. He, he wanted to be the exact same genuine person in in conversation with you face to face as he was between you and him on TV because you know he would always speak to you he would because that's the way he was and you know that's the kind of person I try to be I try and be completely genuine with people you know you're gonna come up against situations in life where you're going to not be as happy as you could be. I get that. And I'm honestly, you know, I'm completely open about my struggles. I'm open about the things that, that tick me off, that frustrate me. You know, it, it's just, it, it's, that's why I say never meet your heroes. It's not because they're not all good. It's because most of them, while they might be good people, they're not going to live up to your expectations of them. And you're going to come away disappointed. And it's not going to be good. So, just never do it. Never meet your heroes. Never be, never be surprised when you find out that they're not the perfect person you thought they were. Because nobody's perfect. We've all got baggage, we've all got issues, but at least some of us try to be genuine to who we are, both on and off camera. 
Well, that's just my take on it. I could be wrong. I could be completely off base. I could be I could be barking up the wrong tree and just completely have a a, a negative viewpoint of this because of one man's recent actions. I don't know, but this is just one man talking to you about what he thinks. God bless and have a wonderful night. Thanks.